and two, only beaten five and a half by knowing after tackling the early lead. So both herself and the, the kennel mate, the two favourites here, Pollard Flyer in box three for Billy Stockdale as well, given a good hope. They're a mile away here at the 500 and the green light turned on. The lure on the journey now, they're set for a start. Away and racing, and Tessa Sand only fair to get going. Pollard Flyer speared the lids, though, and the other Stockdale runner's going to go through and lead over Speck the Lit straight to second, and then Cooter Cowboy a close third. They're followed by Lamont Bale, Tessa Sand, two lengths to all two, Mac, a further two to Aqua Blaze, and last, Agnet Bale. So at the home bend, Pollard Flyer led it narrowly to Cooter Cowboy, who's a big danger, getting up behind them, Speck the Lit with Tessa Sand, Cooter Cowboy hit the lead, coming back, Pollard Flyer wanted it a bit more, and Pollard Flyer kicked home to win it. Pollard Flyer, a tough defiant win by about a half a length over Cooter Cowboy. Third ahead away was Tessa Sand. Lamont Bale hit the uh, hit the line hard. The eye catch of fourth. Uh, they were followed then by Spectre Lit, Aqua Blaze, Agnet Bale and all two Mac. Tough little win to Pollard Flyer. The run here, 28-25. Well, plenty of challenges in the race, but uh, just refused to yield. Pollard Flyer with that narrow lead. Cooter Cowboy, I reckon, almost joined her halfway up the straight, but Pollard Flyer was really gritty in the lead, and she's just kept going, done enough to win. 3 1, 6 8, the numbers. Really does pay to be in front, and Pollard Flyer, well, obviously, but uh, in front early, leaving the back straight here at Terrelgan, and that was exactly what Pollard Flyer was able to do. The daughter of Mapunga Blazer, Rosie Rocks, raced by Billy Stockdale at Fulham. The Pollard Flyer Syndicate, second to one, Cooter Cowboy, 